But what you will see if they do is you will see rapid shallow breathing and desaturation. They're going to start breathing shallow because they're getting tired and they're not taking as deep a breath. So to compensate, they'll start breathing faster. And because of that, their heart starts going faster. It's a vicious cycle. The more blood going by, they have to breathe faster because of that, and they can't keep up. They start desaturating. So, and if you see rapid shallow breathing on anybody, they're in trouble. But with somebody with a vent, especially if we're weaning, weaning and they are weaning, they're in trouble. We want them to take nice, moderate breaths, moderate depth, with a, not too fast. But if they start that, we got to do something about it. But it really depends on how it happens. You typically the kids that come home are not on oxygen. If they do, they're on a very small amount. But then they're usually satin pretty good. So if you have a kid at home at 98% on room air, they're doing fine. They're always 98 on room air. But let's say it goes down to 97. Ah, that's, that's nothing. That's just a minor variation. But 20 minutes later, it goes down to 96. Ah, that too, that's okay. No big deal. 15 minutes later, goes down to 95. Okie dokie. And that's starting to be a trend. Okay. Stop what you're doing. Assess them. Figure out what's going on. If, if it's anybody with a trach, we're just going to assume it's secretions. Assess them. If they're wheezing, give them a breathing treatment. If you hear crackles, clear them out. We're just going to assume hey, more than likely it's going to be some phlegm in there. Now, it's a different way of thinking about it with the kids. Typically, when with somebody with trachea, they say, oh, suction. Okay, but we're not going to do that with kids. We're only going to suction the depth of their trach, or the length of their trach. So the only thing we can do is clear out their trach. And you can usually hear the secretions. But what about the other stuff down in the periphery? You have to make them cough it up. You cannot go down and get it. You have to make them cough it up. So, but, but don't let that go any further. Stop right there, figure out what it is, and fix it. It's usually not fluid overload with the little ones. And oxygen won't fix it. That, that'll get their sats up. You still got to fix the underlying problem because it, it'll keep on going down. And then you have to put more oxygen. If you keep on doing that, pretty soon you can't give any more oxygen and both of you are in trouble.